She would bring me into the room to fight with her ex-boyfriend. Why are you sorry? He deserves it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kenzie. And I'm Maddie. And these are our first and last. <laughs> oh, jeez. So the first time I caught you doing something wrong is when you were like, probably like three or four. We had a Yorkie at the time and she dressed up our Yorkie and put her in a shopping cart, like her doll shopping cart. And she would just like wheel it around the house and that's definitely not good to do. And I feel like that's where- It was horrible. I don't really think I've walked in on you doing anything wrong. I think the last time Maddie called me in the middle of the night was when she was alone in her apartment. I stay up super late. But she you're the at, only person I know I can call. Yeah, so she called me at like 2 a.m. or something, and she was like, Kenzie, I think someone's in my apartment. And I was like, <laughs> Maddie, why do you think someone's in your apartment? And she's like, because there's, I hear police. No, I heard footsteps. I, oh, I heard footsteps in my I swear, my someone was room. walking up the and stairs. And I was like, and they were about to kill me. I'm like, Maddie, you're fine. Like, don't worry. And then <laughs> I kept after. calling you. I was just hoping you'd be like, okay, I'll come over. I can't drive, <laughs> like, I can't just come over. And I couldn't leave my room because then I would get killed. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> there was You're no. fine. <laughs> the first time I was super protective over Maddie was when she had her first real boyfriend. And I actually hated him from the beginning. <laughs> I, think, I, I think I told him I hated him. Continue. So Maddie is a nice girl and she would never fight with her boyfriend, so she would bring me into the room to fight with her ex-boyfriend. And of course, I would just scream at him because I hated him. I'm sorry if you're watching. <laughs> Why are you sorry? He deserves it. <laughs> yeah, true. She went on a lake trip with some of her friends and I had just bought an, a new pale yellow bikini. <laughs> and it was so expensive, it was like, this is, you know, my new bathing suit, I need to be careful, whatever. <laughs> I went in my closet, couldn't find it. I called Kenzie, I was like, did you take my bathing suit? She was like, no, what are you talking about? I've never even seen that bathing suit. She came back, not only did she have the bathing suit, <laughs> but it was blue. Because she washed it with a bunch of other colors and it turned the bikini blue. But you bought me a new one. I bought her a new one. So that's a good sister. We were at dance and I think it was over. We had this like horse, like that horse thing. Anyway, that's besides <laughs> the point. We were fighting over something cause one wanted something over the other and Kenzie slapped my back so hard and she gave me a five star on my back and her entire handprint. And she's so small by the way, still was able to like get her whole hand. It was like so red and I obviously and cried and like told on you probably. Yeah. You always embarrass me. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one time that Maddie has embarrassed me, but she embarrasses me all the time in public, so. I feel like it was a very common thing, snitching on each other. It was when we would want someone to do something for the other person, so I'd be like, Maddie, can you do my hair? And then she'd be like, if you do this, or yeah. else I'm gonna tell mom. Yeah, exactly, or you would say like, if you don't give me a 30 minute back massage right now, I'll tell mom you did this. So it was like and it's that from like thing. months ago. So we kind of just use that as like blackmail. We held on to things. Um, we really blackmailed each but other. We never, we never told mom anything like no, that. We, we never. never snitched. It was just like. No, never. It was just blackmail. <laughs> Kenzie doesn't do my makeup. I do not let her do my makeup because that would not I'm end good. well. <laughs> But I always do her makeup, and it always turns out really good. But this one time, I think it was for your music video. Oh, it was for my music video. <laughs> and I literally, like, the brush had black on it, and I just, like, went under eye. It was after I was almost done, and then I just kept trying to wipe it and just kept getting more black eyeliner, like, all over her face, and we were in a rush. Of course, it happened when we were in a rush. We also got into a fight, and you didn't do finish my hair, so I had to do my hair. We're in a rush, and I'm the hair and makeup artist of the day. The stakes are high. It's just not good. Well, I did my hair, so it's fine. I think the first time I was really proud of my sister was when I saw you in the chandelier video, because I feel like it was your first, like, 
big thing that you were doing on your own because we were always dancing together and doing things together. So I was really proud of you for that. And I still Thank am you. to this day. I'm proud of everything that you do. Thank you. Growing up, Kenzie always got compared to me, which is just like the worst way to teach someone. We did a competition and she beat me. She got first place and I got second. And at the time, of course I was a little butt hurt because I was like, I wanted to win. But yeah. now looking back, like she deserved it so much. And it shows that she is like so capable on her own and she doesn't need to be like me to win. So You're yeah. You're very sweet. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> I think what we've learned is as we get older, we became super, super close. We used to literally hate each other because we were with each other every single day. We never had a break. And so now that we're doing our own thing, we're best friends. So yeah. You'll definitely appreciate each other more when you get older. A hundred percent. And I think like letting the other one have space and realizing that like you're changing at different times. And even though we're 20 months apart, we're still like, we allow each other to have different friend groups and like make decisions on our own and we just try and support each other as best as possible throughout the way. Even if one makes a mistake, we're always there to like catch yeah. each other. And we stick up for each other. We always, always stick up. For, no matter what, like put your sister first because you they're your partners. partner for life, so. <laughs>